Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Prepare slaughter. Do what? Prepare slaughter. For who? For his children. For who? For his children. So hey, the Christ said, prepare slaughter for his children. I don't believe Those slave masters are long gone. Thomas Jefferson is long gone. Theodore Roosevelt is long gone. Robert E. Lee is long gone. Bring it but you are the children of those men. That's you right. are the children of those men, just like we are the children yes, of the man. slave trade. We are the children. The Lord says, prepare slaughter. Come on. For the inequities of their fathers. Don't go nowhere. Hear your judgments. Hear your judgments. So we have to prepare slaughter for the iniquity of your I'm forefathers. We have to prepare iniquity for your children because you are the children. I'm on a You might not think that's fair, but there is a hierarchy in any kingdom. There is a hierarchy in any society. There is a class in every society. You have a lower class and you have an upper class. So it's only fair if you read the Bible, it matches up with what society dictates or try to rule their, their, their society. Because there is a ruling class. There is a chosen class. Guess what, so-called black man, Hispanic man? You are the Israelites. That's your nationality. That's your nationality. You have to ask yourself, how come we were called black? How come we were called Jamaicans? How come we were called Puerto Ricans? Panamanians? What's the difference of a Puerto Rican and a Panamanian? Nothing. We go through the same damn thing. It's called divide and conquer. This, those are strategic warfare tactics to divide and conquer. Divide and conquer and separate us from what God chose us to be. He chose us to be a special people. He chose us to be above all people. Above the face of the earth. Above the face of the earth. What race of people went into slavery? Bring it out. What race of people went into slavery? My ancestors caused that, but it wasn't me. That's not what I asked you. What race of people went into slavery? Did the black man go into slavery, yes or no? Yes, he did. You had nothing to do with that. Let's get that Isaiah uh, 14, right? You know what I want. 1421. 1421. Come on. You say you had nothing to do with it, right? I don't, I don't believe like my grandfather. You had nothing to do with it, right? No. Y'all are more. You, no, no, stay here. You're going to stay right here and hear this. Stay right here. Let's go. This is from Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. Because he said he had nothing to do with our people going to slavery. Because the result of slavery is what you see right now. Let's not know who we are. Because you have the white society, they still they still profit off the slavery on the backs of us blacks and Hispanics. They don't have to worry about getting pulled over. They don't have to worry about police brutality. They don't have to worry about getting red line. I do. I walk around every day and ask people. I ask. Bring I, it out. I ask black people to help me every day. Because but guess what? This is your kingdom. How so? How so? That shouldn't be the case. This is your kingdom. I don't but you said you had nothing to do with it. Great. For the Lord. Well, have mercy on Jacob. That's not what 14, I want. 21. Come on, pay attention. 21. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 21. Come on. Prepare slaughter. Do what? Prepare slaughter. Come on. For his children. For whose children? For his children. For him who? For his children. You say you had nothing to do with it, but your ancestors did. So you are a product of those slave masters. You are the children of those slave masters. Masters. For the iniquities of their fathers. For the iniquities of who? For the iniquities of their fathers. So ready for the top? Prepare slaughter. Do what? Prepare slaughter. For who? For his children. For who? For his children. So hey, the Christ said prepare slaughter for his children. Those slave masters are long gone. Thomas Jefferson is long gone. Theodore Roosevelt is long gone. Robert E. Lee is long gone. Bring it but you are the children of those men. That's you right. are the children of those men, just like we are the children yes, of the man. slave trade. I don't we are the children. The Lord says we play a song. Come on. For the inequities of their fathers. Don't go nowhere. Hear your judgments. Hear your judgments. So we have to prepare song for the iniquity of your forefathers. We have to prepare iniquity for your children because you are the children. I'm on the street homeless because I don't believe what they believe. My well, you don't tell me how. Guess what? 
This is your kingdom. So I'm gonna tell I'm gonna let him know. This is the white man's kingdom, and there should be no white homeless man or woman in America. Bring it out, you guys. Because America is the most wealthiest country in the, on the planet. You the problem because you didn't want to obey your parents. I'm gonna give you law. Access toy. Come on. I'm gonna give you law. This is why you're a bum. This is why you're homeless. And I say bum with all due respect, sir. I'm not trying to, to call you out your name. Do you say you had to beg? I do, I beg every day. This is the result right here. This is why you have to beg. Free. Honor thy father and thy mother. Do what? Honor thy father and thy mother. So this is why you're homeless, because you never obeyed your parents. Hey my brother, what's your nationality? What's your nationality? Yeah, your nationality, my brother. African American, do you believe in the Bible? Can we find African American in the Bible? You don't know? You can't find it in there. So how to become African and American? Do you know who African, the name, the continent Africa was named after of? It was named after a Roman general named Leo Scipios Africanus. He actually defeated Hannibal in the Punic Wars. So that's what the white man do. They conquer and they name their lands after their names. That's what they do. Just like America. You know who uh, America was named after? It's a lot you gotta learn. What's your name, by the way, brother? Who? DeMarc. DeMarc, my name Ariel. Nice to meet you, bro. So like I said, Africa was named after Leo Scipio's Africanus, a Roman general. America was named after Amerigo Vespucci, an Italian navigator. Bring it up. What they got in common? They two white men. But the irony in that is that you classify your race based on two white men. So your, your African American is based on two white men. Does that make sense? No. Well, how do we become African Americans? Let's get Deuteronomy 28 verse 15. Because what we are here, people, the so-called blacks and Hispanics, we are the nation of Israel, we are the Israelites. That's who we are, that's our nationality. Because when you think about nationality, the root word is nation. We are the Israelites. We. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. Come on. When it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments. All his what? All his commandments. Hey, don't go nowhere, bro. I'm done with you for a minute. All right, we go. Listen to this. We have to come back to God's commandments. That's the reason why we oppress today. That's the reason why we don't know who we are. That's the reason why we call ourselves African American. Because we don't know who we are according to the Bible. I just read it, Deuteronomy 7 6, that we are above all people. Because why? Because the Lord chose us. If you don't like that, take it over God. I would rather be on the winning side than you should too. But guess what? A lot of people are not going to be on the winning side. Because they hit God's word. Test, test. A lot of people are going to perish because they don't want to be on the winning side. The Lord told you his kingdom was going to last forever. Read that, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I commanded thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So it's prophesied that if you don't keep the commandments, that all these curses will come upon us and overtake us as a people. Hey, my brother, you got a minute? My sister, you got a minute? Anyone love God? Who loves God? You love God? You love God, sister? But well, come talk to us then, we're reading the Bible. It all falls down, so let's go back to 2 Hezra chapter 7, verse 20. Because this is the result of us not keeping the commandments. What mindset do we have at this time to disobey God? What mindset do we have now to not want to come back to God? What's our mindset? What's our mindset to not want to change our filthy ways? Here it is right here. We gotta go back. This ain't Hawk if you hear me. Hawk can come out. Come on. That's what they do. That's what they do. What's the mindset of those who don't want to change? Let's find out. This is the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 7, verse 20. Come on. But there be many that perish in this life. Why is that? Because they despise the law of the God that is set before them. Our people despise God's laws. That's why a lot of people are going to perish in this life. So 
Some of y'all just running down the street. Some of y'all gonna die tonight. Bring it out. Come out here, talk to me, there so you can be delivered and saved. How are you gonna get delivered? How do we get the kingdom of heaven? My brother in the in the uh, green truck. How do we get the kingdom of heaven? How? Y'all know? Let's find out. Matthew uh, 19. How do we get the kingdom of heaven? How do we get the kingdom of heaven? I'm talking to you. I'm pointing to you, my brother. That's why I got resort. I got resort to talking to people across the street because they despise God's laws. Bring it out. But nonetheless, we're required to be watchmen. So anyway, we gotta go. Anyway, by any means, we have to reach out people. We will do that. Listen to God's word. Let's show you how to get the kingdom. Come on, Matthew 19. You got it. Call the verse. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 16. Let's go. And behold, what came and said unto him, Good master, what good things shall I do that I may have eternal life? So a brother asked Christ, What good things should I do that I may have eternal life? What good thing that I sh shall do to get the kingdom? Let's see what Christ's response was. And he said unto him, uh, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. So even Christ had a humble spirit. He always gave praise to the Heavenly Father. For those who know the Lord's Prayer, it opens up and says, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. So Christ gave homage to the Most High God, the Heavenly Father. That's what we must do. We must acknowledge the Heavenly Father as well. But what did he say after that? Because remember the question. How do I get the kingdom? How do I get eternal life? How do you get eternal life? Yes. My brother, how do you get eternal life? How? How do you get eternal life? Oh snap, another black man with a microphone. We gotta go. I gotta go. Crickets. How do we get eternal life? Let's find out what Christ said. Read. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. Do what? Keep the commandments. Do what? Keep the commandments. So that's how we get the kingdom of God. By keeping God's commandments. By keeping God's commandments is how we're going to get the kingdom. Today is the Sabbath day, by the way. That's a commandment we must keep. Christ said, keep the commandments. A brother told me across the street that we cherry pick scriptures. Let me show you something, Baruch 4 and 1. Because we don't cherry pick nothing, we read the whole Bible. Bring it out. We don't pick and choose what we want to bring out to you. That's what y'all been taught in the Christian church. To cherry pick. To do what feels good to you. Right, so that's hey my sister, how you doing? Listen to this, read that. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 1. Uh -huh. This is the book of the commandments of God. Wait a minute, Christ said keep the commandments. So where can I find the commandments? We're reading it right now in the Bible. I don't want to get in your picture. My sister, we reading the commandments. Christ said to keep the commandments if you want the kingdom. Don't you want the kingdom? Sure, of course. Okay, where can we find the commandments? We're about to read it right now. Come on. This is the book of the commandments of God. It's a law that can do it forever. Guess what? God's laws were never done away with. That's what the church say. God's laws was done away with. But he said the law is going to go forever. Yeah. Read on. And the law that can do it forever. And they that keep it shall come to life. So if you keep God's laws, that's how you're going to get eternal life. That's how you're going to get to be able to live forever in the kingdom of God. But what's the flip side, Read. But shall last leave it, shall die. But if you say to hell with this Bible, you say you're going to die.